Welcome to the ABI Snapshot, where we spotlight critical findings and the latest research from our global team of analysts. In this snapshot, we're speaking with Reese Hayden, Principal Analyst at ABI Research. Reese will answer key questions about his report on on-device artificial intelligence. Welcome, Reese. Hi, thanks for having me. Your research is focused on the opportunity for on-device AI. Where is AI taking place right now? Great question. Traditionally, AI models have been deployed in the cloud. But as AI scales, this cloud-centric approach faces significant challenges. On-device AI capabilities and eventually hybrid AI enable AI inferencing locally. What is the benefit of moving inference workloads to the device? Moving inference workloads to the device benefits enterprises and consumers by solving commercial and technical challenges like data privacy, network latency, and networking costs, while enabling users to enjoy a variety of generative AI applications tailored to their personal needs. However, this shift also brings challenges, including workload management, power consumption, and memory burden, which require ongoing hardware and software innovation. Are there risks associated with using generative AI at scale? There are. Generative AI at scale brings significant risks and anxieties that must be understood prior to usage, including data privacy, accuracy, bias, and intellectual property concerns. Already we are seeing how these factors are impacting consumer experiences, but as enterprises adopt generative AI, these risks will be amplified as it could impact their customer's experience and overall product quality. What is the biggest barrier to the commercial success of on-device AI? The main roadblock is software immaturity and applications that focus more on user experience than on productivity. Overcoming this barrier requires the development of killer productivity AI applications, but this is easier said than done. Underpinning the development of these applications, the market needs to build small, optimized models that balance performance, power efficiency, memory, and full-stack software developer environments to enable optimized application development at scale and RSV partnerships with key players like Meta and Microsoft. What kind of devices does on-device AI refer to? Smartphones, tablets, PCs, laptops, automotive systems, XR gaming consoles, and wearables, to name a few. How will on-device AI impact enterprise deployment? On-device generative AI will drive enterprise deployment of smart devices and new AI models into existing processes, enhancing productivity and efficiency through potential cost and time savings. It will enable this by overcoming some of the barriers that especially impact brownfield, disaggregated enterprise environments like a factory floor. For example, manufacturers have been hesitant to deploy augmented reality on factory floors given connectivity and performance challenges, but local AI processing will eliminate this challenge and support a clear business case for technology adoption. What are some examples of on-device AI consumer use cases? Low latency and offline AI will improve a user's mobile gaming experience. Personal data will remain local with health and fitness apps. Language translation will be more realistic and contextualized. And digital assistants will be powered by always-on AI for natural interactions. You mentioned hybrid AI earlier. Why is that significant? On-device AI is the first step towards hybrid AI systems which optimize resource usage, application performance, and data privacy by enabling joint processing from cloud to device. In a hybrid AI model, AI processing will be split between cloud, edge, and device, depending on model size, latency requirement, and data security. But hybrid AI systems are operationally challenging, making the transition to hybrid AI requires intelligent systems capable of distributing AI workloads across multiple cloud cloud resources, devices, and operating systems. This transition also needs integrated model architectures and clearly defined AI workload rules. Thanks so much, Reese. For a deeper dive into on-device AI, download the white paper at abiresearch.com.